Good morning. I hope everyone's Halloween was uh, as happy as they wanted to be. <laughs> so I've prepped everything to start the Carolina Reaper blends. Uh, I am going to wear gloves for this and I'm also going to wear a mask. The first thing that happened when I opened these is the smell made me start sneezing. So <laughs> in order to protect myself, I'm going to garb up. Okay, so I thought I had the hyperlapse on when I was uh, blending everything up, but uh, not, not much happening there other than I blended it and then mixed all the quart blends together, kind of back and forth in a couple of pitchers to get them uh, kind of dispersed between each other so the flavor was even between all the bottling that would happen. And then I blended it down two more minutes each quart uh, to just smooth it out. This is not screened. There is a dripper in the bottle, but uh, in it, probably will drip, but uh, the dripper's in there more for the seal purposes of the top. Um, so you might want to bring that out. Um, so these are what we ended up with for straight up preacher. So we've got 15 bottles of this stuff, 16 bottles of it. And then these little sample bottles, that are two ounces, these are five, this is two, and I end up with 10 of those. Um, and then this <laughs> was just a spur of the moment inspiration to say, okay, I've got all these bottles with a little bit of this sauce clinging to the sides. So I dumped about a cup of vinegar in there and uh, threw in about eight cloves of uh, fermented garlic and some xanthan gum and blended that all up and ended up with two bottles of just this uh, cleaning my tools sauce. <laughs> so, well, I'm curious to see how that tastes. It smells really good with all the garlic. So. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll try it. <clears throat> so I'm not going to do the sampling right now. We'll do that at a later point in time after this stuff has a chance to get cold in the refrigerator. We'll try it cold. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. If you want some, let me know. Um, I have no idea um, what I want to do for distribution to people who want to say uh, have some because right now none of this is pasteurized. It's still a live enzyme product so it needs to be refrigerated so if you are out of town we need to ship i'll probably have to pasteurize a bottle or two to make that happen anyway um hope your weekend's going as good as mine thanks okay so one thing that i don't think we've ever just kind of videoed is we're going to put the shrink wraps on top of these bottles so let me show you how we do that okay trying to put this hopefully so you can see without me being directly in the way uh, but these ones are a little bit easier they're just a slide on they have a little pull top removal and just slide them on there and you just hit them with a some type of heat source i've seen people dip them in boiling water or whatever <coughs> i have a soldering station i just turn on the air blower well first i plug it in doesn't work real well with that electricity that in. I've never been real sure about what to set the temperature at. I'm going to turn it off my hat last time. It gets hot pretty quick and then you just simply uh, hit that with the heat. Shrink wraps on. All done just like that. Pretty simple. I suppose if you were making wine, you could use these 
some kind of shrink wrap, shrink wraps on your wine bottle. Into the bottle. There you have it. The preacher. So I've got this set at uh, it's just 254 degrees. So it's not uh, overly hot. I found if I went too hot, it kind of melted.